Welcome to another video everyone. Well, it's the big moving day for my grandparents. Uh, we were down at their house yesterday loading up the lorries and getting all of the furniture out and they've got quite a lot, probably too much for this house. But um, the house is pretty much ready and uh, yeah, we're getting everything in today and um, it'd be nice to have them as neighbours finally. Yep, so let's crack on. All right, Rick, how's it going, mate? I'm doing very well. We've had a productive day. A very productive day. So far, day. we've been helping your grandparents move uh, most of the furniture inside the new house now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we find ourselves back here in the adjoining room, which uh, hopefully we're going to get decorated this week. Yeah, so this is the second bedroom, which Yanis and Simon had plastered. So it's now up to us. We need to sand all of the woodwork. Yeah. Uh, we're going to paint all of the woodwork. We also need to PVA, which is obviously like a glue, water the walls for michael because he's going to start wallpapering from tomorrow i think excellent That's fantastic. hopefully That'll make a big difference um and then tomorrow also the plumber clive is coming in he's going to start doing all the services for the ensuite um so yeah it's up to us mate to uh crack, crack on, on i suppose <laughs> yeah. Busy day. so I'll, I'll um i'll show you how to rig up the um sander and okay. then um then we'll get going we'll get going okay, okay. Let's, let's do let's it mate go. let's do it Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the next bedroom renovation. Now, we realized that we'd run out of the paint color that we used on the woodwork next door. And Billy said, should we go and get some? And then actually you said, let's have a look in the basement and see what paint we've got. We've got loads of tins. Now, I actually bought this for the cottage. Um, and I was gonna, I used it to paint the inside of my front door. Because this color, I actually matched it to my Argo cooker. But I never used it, and there's a full tin. And I wondered, it's quite cream, but let's see what it looks like with the red of the wallpaper. I think it might be quite nice. Because we used a sort of buttery color next door, didn't we? Oh, I think that might be, that might be quite nice. Red and cream. Does it look good? It is really, really nice. Yeah. A lot of enthusiasm over there. Rhubarb and custard. <laughs> Cherry pie and, yeah, I like that. Let's do it cream. Let's just use the paint we've got. Let's economize, otherwise it's never gonna get used. Yeah. And we'll just waste a tin. I paid for it, so I might as well use it. I think there will be enough for this room. And it goes on beautifully. It's a different finish. Normally we use an eggshell. This is called satin wood. It's a different type of paint by Little Green, so. Let's do it cream.
It's looking really good, Michael. Yes, and um, obviously this has had a couple of coats on it, this bit. But with all paints, obviously I have an idea. I'm going, yeah, that'd be really nice. And then I say to everyone else, what do you think of this color? And everyone usually says, okay. And then as soon as I start painting, about 10 minutes in, I'm, I'm like, oh no, what have I done? I hate it. But actually, that was the same with that, um, that yellow color on the walls next door. Mm -hmm. It turned out fantastic. And I think this would turn out fantastic too. And actually, it's a shame our wallpaper isn't this like light minty sort of green colour because that would look yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, that, would, that would look nice. But I yeah. think red would look equally nice. Yeah, it would, yeah. Yeah. So this paint is an unusual paint. We've never used it before. It's called, it's Little Green, the, the brand, and it's actually a newer one. It's called Satin Wood. Satin Wood. It's got a slight sheen to it, not a gloss, mm -hmm. but not an eggshell. It's a bit shinier than an eggshell. I like it. It looks and nice. Like, and it just goes on beautifully. It's so easy. The whole but two hours. We've almost done all the way around the room. But it's for a particular reason because tomorrow you're going to start wallpapering with Rick. Yes. Obviously, can you see here? The great thing about wallpaper, no cutting in. <laughs> so all you do is do your woodwork in your ceiling and you, yep. just, you can paint over onto the wall as much as you want, make a mess. Yep. And then when the wallpaper goes on, you cut a very neat line. It just looks perfectly finished. Yep. So Yanis has applied the PVA mix yeah. and water. Oh, that's completely sealed now. So it's all sealed. I've put the ceiling rose up, so that's done. I've got the chandelier that I need to restore. I'll start doing that yeah. this week. And I tell you what, that marble, that sort of black charcoal marble, has actually got hints of red in the marble, mm -hmm. which will look great with the wallpaper. But actually, yeah. I think that looks lovely with the cream. It does look nice, yeah. yeah. So I think. Just finding an old tin of paint in the basement was a great idea. Brilliant. All right then, thanks a lot, Michael. Yep, you're welcome. See you tomorrow.